This is George from High Tech Legion. Today we're going to take a look at the Asus P8 Z77 V Pro motherboard. The Z77 V Pro is a full-size ATX feature-rich motherboard meant for the LGA 1155 platform from Intel, specifically for the new 22 nanometer Ivy Bridge platform coming out. Taking a look at the box, we see that it has Asus new DigiPower Plus Control, which features two separate processors capable of optimizing your uh, system for speed or for energy savings. Also has Wi-Fi Go with built-in uh, 802.11n Wi-Fi built right into the motherboard, and it can also turn the motherboard into a Wi-Fi hotspot for other devices in the area. Precise power control. USB 3.0 uh, boost with turbo, network eye control. Uh, what the network eye control is going to give you is the flexibility to actually give priority to certain applications uh, over the Wi-Fi network. That's going to make for faster streaming and less interference when you're gaming. Also easy and flexible UEFI BIOS. Taking a look over, it is NVIDIA SLI ready, AMD Crossfire X ready with three uh, PCI Express 3.0 16x slots, DTS, and of course Lucid Virtue MVP, which is going to allow for integration of the IGP as well as your external GPU to work together on many different projects. Taking a look over on the Z77 V Pro box on the back, we're going to get a look at some more of the features. Get a look at the board itself with the external Wi Fi antenna. And a few features listed. CPU LGA 1155, chipset Intel Z77, expansion slots, two PCI Express 3.0 X16, one PCI Express 2.0 X16, two PCI Express 2.0 X1s, and two PCI slots. You've got multi VGA output with DisplayPort, HDMI, DVI, and RGB. Storage, four SATA, six, um, SATA 3s, four SATA 2s, and LAN, Intel Gigabit LAN, audio Realtek 892, four USB 3.0 ports for the front header, four USB 3.0 ports on the rear of the board, and ten USB 2.0 ports, and wire, uh, wireless data, a Wi-Fi 802.11 B, G, and N module built onto the board, as we discussed. Smart Digi technology. Uh, very interesting. Their VRM actually has two separate processing units built into the VRM, EPU and TPU. EPU is more of an energy savings type processor, actually allows for what we might consider a backwards type of overclocking. You set the type of power savings you want, it's going to set the parameters of your components. TPU, of course, other way around. It's going to overclock all of your components and bring the power up as necessary. Wi-Fi Go, as we discussed. Built-in Wi-Fi with Wi-Fi hotspot also allows you to use things like smartphones, tablets, and whatnot as a remote control for the unit itself. Lucid Logics Virtue MVP allows the um, IGP and your GPU to work together. Uh, the IGP obviously is not going to be as uh, full featured as and uh, powerful as your external discrete GPU, but it's going to allow them to work together with the IGP taking over some of the more computationally intensive aspects of what the rendering is doing. USB BIOS flashback, never have to worry about losing your uh, BIOS. In any type of crash, you can put your BIOS right on a USB drive, plug it in, don't even need to boot, one push button, you're done. Fan Expert 2. Uh, they've really taken Fan Expert to a new level. Fan Expert now can control each fan individually. It also allows you to uh, test each fan and go through each one so that it's going to know exactly what the actual zero point of the fan is and what the high point of the fan is and be able to set the fan speeds accordingly. Taking a look at the Z77 V Pro itself. Beautifully laid out board. As you can see, all black circuit board. Really nicely laid out. Very pretty. Taking a look at the components. Let's start up top. We've got fan, um, fan header. Your two CPU fan headers. 
Uh, Asus has actually made a habit of putting two CPU fan headers on their higher end boards, which is nice for dual fan designs. Eliminates the Y connector. Also, uh, as we found, with the Y connector you get a little bit of fan speed slowdown, so this is going to eliminate that. Your CPU motherboard power input. VRM with some very nice blue heat sinks, nice and meaty. CPU socket, four dim slots. Dims are capable up to 2400 uh, overclocked, all DDR3 of course. Power input. You've got the one, two, three PCI Express 16X slots. The top two being PCI Express 3.0, bottom being PCI Express 2.0. Two standard PCI connectors two PCI Express X1s. Another fan header here. As we see, down the bottom, you've got one, two, three, four. USB 2.0. Your front header, another fan header. Over on the side, all your, your eight SATA connectors with four being SATA 3, four being SATA 2. Motherboard power. Down here you've got your EPU and TPU switches. Uh, the EPU and TPU switches, besides being able to control them through AI Suite 2, there are one switch uh, selectable to turn them on and off, basically giving you uh, an easy overclock or easy energy savings, depending on what your need is. You've got beautiful blue and silver with the Asus logo heatsink. And finally, of course, your battery. Taking a look at the rear connectors. Two USB 3s, along with PS2, USB 2s, DisplayPort, HDMI, digital, DVI, VGA, two USB 3.0s, Intel Gigabit LAN, and surround sound audio. Really pretty looking motherboard. Turn it around, all black as we say, uh, copper traces even done in black. Nice back plate and once again even the rear of the heatsinks is finished in the Asus blue. Very pretty, nicely laid out motherboard. Moving inside the box, let's take a look at the accessories. Driver and utility disc of course with Asus tag, user guide and manual, as always with Asus, very complete, fully illustrated. SLI bridge. Rear I.O. plate. Again, Asus has started doing theirs in black. Very nice touch. Got a rear connector for USB as well as eSATA. Asus Q connectors. These are actually connectors for your motherboard front headers. You can plug them into here, then plug this straight into the motherboard. Uh, that leaves you from having to reach into the case to make the connections. Makes life a little bit easier. Uh, definitely a nice touch by Asus. Two each, SATA 3, SATA 2 cables, and finally, Wi-Fi adapter. Actually comes packaged separately and plugs right into the motherboard. Antenna also is included, spherical antenna with the stand-up. The Asus P8Z Z77V Pro uh, obviously is a very feature-rich motherboard. Uh, support for 22 and 32 nanometer CPUs in the LJ, uh, LGA 1155 socket. The DigiPlus power control with two independent processing units, built-in Wi-Fi, as well as Wi-Fi hotspot, uh, DisplayPort, VGA, HDMI, and uh, DVI outputs, DTS support on the audio, USB BIOS flashback so you can never use your, uh, lose your BIOS, Intel Gigabit LAN, PCI Express 3.0, two slots at X16, one PCI Express 2.0 at X16, uh, the UEFI, UEFI BIOS, DDR3 2400 support, uh, four front USB 3.0 headers, 
and the built-in dip switches for EPU and TPU for uh, easy one-switch overclocks or one-switch power savings.